We're putting our own tile! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at Handy Creators. So we're installing our own tile. If you guys have been following our series, we've gotten to, I think it's the last step before the final touches here and there. And this video is gonna be on how to install your own outdoor tile. We still have to change the posts Correct. for the pergola, which you guys would have seen that video by now. We wanna do like a final review. So most probably we'll just go ahead and add those little clips there. But I think this is the last big, big, big part of the project. We're gonna go ahead and install floor tile outside. We were kind of going back and forth on how we should do this and we're just gonna figure it out along the way. I mean, we've done some research and we have an idea on how to do it. We wanna make sure that this comes out as nice as possible and that we can give you guys the proper instructions in case you guys wanna recreate it. I think this is the most nerve-wracking part of this project that I've done. We have never laid tile before, so this is completely new to us. And I mean, that's never scared us in the past. We've tackled on so many things that we've never done before. If you're a beginner and you're trying to find information on how to lay tile, I feel like this might be the perfect video because I predict we're gonna make a lot of mistakes. We're gonna make a lot of improper cuts <laughs> and we're gonna have a lot of waste. We're gonna try to be as detailed as possible for those out there that have never done this before. We really wanna make this video very, very instructive. I think the fact that this is such a technical job that it has so many tiny little things that you have to look out for. And if you have done this before and you're a pro or whatever the case may be, let us know how we did below. <laughs> we wanna be able to improve for future projects because this might not be the last time that we install tower in our life. We just hope you guys enjoy the video and find it useful. We just got back from Lowe's and I think we'll show you guys like a little haul of everything we purchased. So we don't know if we're missing something. Well, I guess we'll find out when we start working. Gosh, I hope not. I don't wanna yeah. do another trip. So we'll show you guys the, the tile that we bought, um, what mortar we got, why we got it. And we're gonna link it below everything in case you just wanna get straight to the point. I think we should stop delaying this puppy and just hop on outside. Which is lucky, guys. Let's, Let's go. go. These are the materials that you're gonna need, or at least that we needed for our project based on the towel that we're gonna install. We have 10 bags of the large floor towel mortar. If you have any side that is over 15 inches, you're gonna need this one. We went with the sanded grout, and it's in the color warm gray. It matches perfectly with the towel that we're using. We bought a towel cutter. Some people out there use the, the table saw, the table wet saw, but we decided to go with a different approach. We bought a towel grout floor, float, towel grout floor. We bought a tile grout float that we're gonna use towards the end of the video. We bought a adhesive trowel. This one's specific to floor. It has these grooves that'll allow the towel to stick properly to the thin set mortar. We bought a few sponges for when it's time to uh, clean up the grout. We bought some suction cups just for fun. I'm not sure if we'll use them, but hey, Good thing to have. And then for the gap that we're gonna leave between tiles, we're gonna use one, one eight spacer. We bought a tile grout sealer. We're gonna use this at the end to make sure that the tile and the grout uh, last a long time clean. For the tile, we bought these at Lowe's. They are the Westport Sand. You could pause the video right here and screenshot it. Yeah, we got these um, because we feel like the color matches nice with our house and they're porcelain exterior tiles. So you can actually use them inside and out depending on what you want. They're a bit rough on the on the top, so. They're a bit rough, but they're smooth. They don't yeah. have any crevices, which I like because the crevices outside will get a lot of dirt. And they're 12 by 24. So that's why we had to get the large mortar and we also had to get a large tile cutter. You want to make sure that the area that you were working on is clean and free of any debris. We hosed it down and took the time to remove any concrete that was on the posts or the floor. We then loaded everything onto the truck to move the materials to the backyard from the garage. So we're placing the tiles on the floor and we're kind of playing with it. We're trying to see where it is that the lines have to go. This step is key to do before you start installing. Make sure to take your time playing with your tile so that you know how it's going to look when you're done. This will help you know where to place your first tile. To mix the mortar, we followed the instructions on the bags. Since we were mixing multiple batches, we measured the amount of water needed and marked it on the bucket to make sure we always got the same consistency. We then poured the mix into the water. To achieve a nice mix, Adriana poured the mortar as I began mixing. You want to make sure you mix the mortar for a full 3 minutes so that it blends well. We use your handheld mixer that belongs to my father-in-law, but we'll make sure to link one below that you can rent from your local hardware store. Let it sit for 5 minutes and then mix it for 1 more minute before use. To install the tile, add some mortar to the floor and then spread evenly using your trowel. Then at an angle, go over the mortar to create the grooves. Finally, place the towel over the mortar and make sure to check for leveling. We'll make sure to give you another angle of the installation later in the video. 
Using your initial tile as a guide, repeat the process of mortar, grooves, tile, and level. Make sure to place spacers between each tile and push the tile so that the space is even across your entire floor. You want to make sure to clean any excess mortar, as this will facilitate the installation of the grout at the end. Our recommendation is to have one person installing the tile while someone else is cleaning the excess mortar. We use an old sponge and a bucket of water to clean each tile. Using the manual tile cutter was fairly easy. Step 1 is placing the tile inside of the cutter. Step 2 is passing the blade from the bottom to the top. Then you are going to press down on the handle to make the cut and step 4 is celebrating that you used the machine right. <laughs> we repeated the process on each row. Just when we thought we were getting a rhythm, this happened. I hate you Florida! Luckily it was just a clod and we were able to continue installing. We made sure to dry the area as much as possible before placing more mortar. And once we were getting a rhythm again, we ran out of mortar mix. We had to do another trip to Lowe's to buy double the bags we initially thought. We recommend that you buy a lot more mortar mix than you think and then return later if you do not use it. Okay guys, so I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how it is that we decided to do our tile outside. We're currently inside our house now and we have noticed that every corner, the tile goes around the corner. Unfortunately, our mic was not working in this part of the video, so we will be explaining the instructions after the fact. To make these corner cuts, place the towel approximately where it was going to be placed based on the previous row, and mark where the cut needed to start. We then place the towel on the other side to get the height of where the cut needed to be. Using a shredded, we made a connecting line based on our two points, and then we made a mark to not get confused on what side of the waist was on. Unfortunately, the towel cutter that we bought cannot make these type of cuts, so we used our angle grinder. You can also use a wet towel cutter, which we will link below. The key to this is to cut very slowly to prevent the towel from cracking. To make sure that all of our rows were symmetrical, we used a long level and placed it against the house. That way, our lines were in the same spot even though they are one row apart. As promised, here is another angle of the installing the mortar. First, add mortar to the floor. Then spread evenly using your trowel and make sure to create those grooves. Next, place the towel. If the towel is lower, simply lift the towel and add more mix. Check for leveling and clean any excess mix off using a wet sponge. To clean between the towels, we use the spacers to push out the excess mix. This is key to be able to install your grout later. Once again, wipe off the excess mix and place your spacers. And you're going to just repeat the process. Make sure that you are checking for level every few towels. We're sitting on the floor now, taking a break. We are beat. We've had a lot of things against us. So at first, it's been raining on and off, both yesterday and today. And then also, we've run out of order mix. Sorry our energy is so low. We're dead, you guys. We've taken so many breaks. We don't want to seem like we're complaining. We're just really tired. Rain has not, like the weather has not been in their favor. So it's been hard because I mean, we're outdoors. So we kind of have to play with that. It's just, it's a big area, you guys. Like. It's a big, big, big area. Let's just mm. keep taking this little break and then we'll keep at it until we can't anymore. For the last row, we used the same method as before. We started off with this cut right here. We placed the towel and marked where the cut should be done. We then used our angle grinder to make the cut. We then checked to make sure that our lines were symmetrical. We know we may sound repetitive, but always check for lovely. This is the key to any good floor installation. We finally installed the last row. Since it was a small slope, we used some woods to prevent them from moving overnight as they cured. Make sure to wait 24 hours before applying grout. Okay guys, so we are reconsidering painting the whole kitchen. I love the tile. The kitchen looks salmon-y. Tell me in the comments below, please. Now it's time to put the grout. To prepare the mix of the grout, we followed the instructions on the back of the bags. To apply the grout, place the mix on the tile and then spread evenly across the floor. Make sure that you get into all of the crevices between each tile. We prefer to leave our grout on the wetter side since this made it easier to spread. A drier consistency will not spread smoothly and will bunch up on the tile. Cleaning is a key step. As soon as you're done spreading the grout, make sure to come with a wet sponge and a bucket to remove all of the excess grout on the floor. We ended up cleaning this a total of three times before we were able to remove all of the grout. Make sure to get any excess grout off of the tile as the more it cures, the harder it will be to remove. And just like that, we were finished. 
We loved how this project came out. The color of the tile complements nicely with our house and the finished look that we wanted. It was definitely hard, but it was a worthwhile project. And just like that, we're finally done. <laughs> <laughs> finally, you guys. The first thing we want to say is thank you all, all of you for being so patient. And we're very sorry that we didn't get this video out on our scheduled day. It's been really hard to work here with the rain and the weather. It waits for us to go outside to start <laughs> raining. So it's been a mission. Yeah, every time we would um, mix a new bag of mortar or of grout or anything, it would start raining. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. We hope it was very instructive, especially for those out, out there that are complete beginners like we were. We tried to include every little detail that we didn't know coming into this project. And that way, if you decide to recreate this, you are um, aware of what to expect. Realistically, this should be done on every video because the people out there who do these labor jobs, they deserve so much credit. The people who place tile, props to you guys. It is very 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 tiring we had to take lots of breaks yeah. the weather here like it was it was in the 90s and i know it's even hotter in certain places but we we struggled we love how it came out and we're so proud and we're, we're so proud of what we did and when we finished we just sat back and admired the actual installation but it, it was, was very tiring. exhausting it, i think it was the most tiring part set, of the whole part project. of this whole makeover was the floor towel we struggled a bit when we first started and we were all over the place we didn't really get a rhythm but it is extremely repetitive the job so once you get the rhythm of things and you start how you guys already know I'm huge on everybody has a different job and if you stick to that job usually things go pretty smoothly once we got that rhythm the job became so much easier a huge tip I would say to everybody out there if you guys can get a knee um, pad that is what saved me if you guys notice at the end when we were installing the grout the knee pad that initially started as this, this big <laughs> turned into two smaller pieces because we just couldn't anymore yeah right? I was, was like it's... just break it in half and take half because yeah it was a lot I would say this is not a one-man job not if you're a beginner get help get your friends your spouse your family member someone who can help you with this and so. another key tip that i think we would give you guys wait till the winter if you can <laughs> into the cooler weather well there's people who like summer if, i mean <laughs> do not do this in the summer do, do this whenever you want do not do it this. was like a workout i mean listen <laughs> do not do this in the summer okay i don't care where you live do not I promise you, you will regret it. <laughs> we are so excited to finish this outdoor project. And I mean, this was the last big step. So our next video, we will be doing all of the last touches. Something else that we wanted to touch before we let you guys go, the sealer. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, we did buy a, a tile on grout sealer that we plan on applying. Unfortunately, weather has not allowed us to do so. So our plan is gonna be, we're gonna be recording us applying the sealer and reviewing it. And we would just be most probably posting a short about it so you guys can see how the product applies and if it's even worth it. We've never heard of this brand before. We've never used this item. So we truly don't know. I think that's that. Wait. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here to the end. If you guys made it to the end, you guys get this little surprise that you get to see your fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video enjoyable and as always make sure to hit that little notification bell at the bottom so you don't miss out on any of our videos we'll see you on the next week bye, bye. say bye say bye mommy bye say bye mommy